The innate curiosity we feel about the unknown is a fascinating aspect of human psychology. By exploring this phenomenon, we can uncover six intriguing elements that shape our interactions and emotional experiences, particularly in the context of love and interpersonal relationships. However, it is crucial to emphasize that these insights should not be used in a manipulative way in our personal relationships. The first rule to consider is that predictability can indeed extinguish interest. However, it's important to recognize that this statement is not always an absolute truth. As curious beings, we are naturally drawn to the unknown and mysteries that challenge our understanding. When we become predictable, we turn into a familiar narrative, repeating lines and scenes without offering surprises. Boredom quickly sets in when predictability dominates, especially in relationships where the thrill of the unknown is crucial to keeping things interesting. Furthermore, we can explore the idea that mystery and unpredictability are essential ingredients for sustaining emotional sparks in relationships. The constant pursuit of novelty and emotional challenges can strengthen bonds, as the continuous discovery of a partner creates fertile ground for mutual growth. Additionally, it is intriguing to consider how the psychology of love often involves a delicate dance between closeness and distance. Striking a balance between deep intimacy and preserving individual spaces is crucial to maintaining interest and vitality in a lasting relationship. Exploring these psychological aspects invites us to reflect on our own essence and the dynamics that permeate our personal relationships. However, it is imperative to remember that, while understanding these principles is valuable, using them manipulatively can compromise the authenticity and emotional health of relationships. Ultimately, the true magic lies in the ability to nurture genuine connections based on mutual understanding and respect, rather than relying solely on psychological strategies. Exploring the intriguing dynamics of visibility and unpredictability in relationships deepens our understanding of how these elements trigger fascinating psychological reactions. Being visible, according to the nuances of the text, resembles a manipulation strategy, involving the ability to touch on the basic keys of reward. On the other hand, unpredictability is likened to a slot machine, where uncertainty around rewards keeps people engaged, acting as lever pullers in search of the next moment of satisfaction. The analysis reveals that unpredictability in giving attention and affection creates a complex scenario. The alternation between closeness and distance triggers profound reactions in the brain, generating a kind of emotional dependence. Unpredictability thus becomes a powerful element fueling anxiety for attention, as the person cannot predict when they will be graced with this affection. However, it is crucial to highlight that being unpredictable goes beyond being just a mystery. The strategy involves creating an emotional roller coaster, where emotional peaks are more intense when not anticipated and valleys of detachment are deeper when there is emotional distance. This game of highs and lows functions as a form of psychological control, subtly manipulating the other's desire and keeping them always in pursuit of more. Understanding these psychological mechanisms opens up space for reflections on the ethics of relationships. It is vital to consider the emotional and psychological impact of this approach on the mental health of those involved, striving for a balance between mystery and predictability, genuineness and strategy may be the key to building healthy and lasting relationships where trust and transparency are fundamental. Exploring the second pattern, which involves making the other person dependent on you, reveals intriguing complexity in relational dynamics. This approach transcends mere physical presence, delving into the territory of the mind and emotions. Becoming indispensable to someone's life implies not only being present, but also delving into the deeper layers of their mind and emotions. Being the person who understands the other, the most means not just perceiving their surface-level joys, but also engaging with the deeper emotions and fears that often remain hidden. It's like unraveling internal complexities, creating a connection that goes beyond the surface. This intimate understanding establishes a powerful bond, transforming you into the emotional anchor for the other. However, it is crucial to approach this dynamic with responsibility and empathy. Creating emotional dependence involves a great responsibility requiring sensitivity to handle the vulnerabilities of the other. Delving into deeper emotions and fears requires a careful approach, aiming to strengthen the relationship positively rather than exploiting vulnerabilities. Additionally, it's important to recognize that true reciprocity and emotional health in a relationship involve a mutual exchange of understanding and support. A healthy connection is not solely based on becoming indispensable, but on cultivating an environment where both partners feel valued and understood. 
Therefore, when exploring this pattern, it is essential to balance emotional depth with responsibility and empathy. A meaningful connection is built on the foundation of mutual authenticity, trust, and respect, ensuring that emotional dependence is a two-way street, enriching the lives of both involved. Exploring the third pattern, which involves suddenly disappearing, delves into the intriguing territory of emotional strategies and interpersonal relationships. This approach is based on the element of surprise and the powerful influence of absence. When someone abruptly becomes less accessible or disappears from the radar, a sense of mystery and urgency is created, which many find irresistibly attractive. The disappearing strategy is effective due to the disruption of pre-existing patterns. By creating consistency and then breaking it unexpectedly, a remarkable psychological impact is generated. Silence, the absence of calls or messages without explanations, triggers a psychological response known as loss aversion. This principle suggests that people are more motivated by the fear of losing something than by the prospect of gaining something of equal value. It is crucial to emphasize that this tactic should be employed with extreme caution and synchronization. It's not about disappearing abruptly to cause anxiety, but strategically creating a void that makes the other person truly notice your absence. The art lies in reappearing at the right moment, when the sense of potential loss reaches its peak. The strategic return proves to be a key moment, revealing that the interest and appreciation for the vanished individual have significantly grown. This strategy is not just a superficial game. It is a profound understanding of human nature and the psychology of desire. It capitalizes on the idea that people value more what they have when faced with the possibility of losing it occasionally. However, it is essential to apply these strategies responsibly and with consideration for the emotional well-being of the other person, avoiding unnecessary discomfort or irreparable damage to relationships. Exploring the fourth rule, which involves not showing too much emotion during encounters, reveals the complexity of human interactions and the nuances involved in the game of psychological demonstration. This strategy suggests that displaying excessive emotion can be interpreted as a weakness, as it reveals disproportionate investment or interest. The core of this approach lies in consciously controlling the emotional atmosphere of interactions. Revealing too much power or interest can negatively impact the dynamics of the relationship. Instead, it proposes maintaining a level of composure and mystery regarding feelings. The strategy involves balancing demonstrating interest in a controlled and measured manner, avoiding any signs of excessive emotion. This quest for balance involves the ability to keep emotions in check during encounters. Showing interest is important, but doing so moderately is essential to avoid conveying excessive vulnerability. The strategy aims to create a balanced emotional impact, where the joy of seeing her is evident but without exaggerations that might suggest emotional dependence. Understanding the importance of this balance contributes to building healthy relationships. The strategy is not about suppressing emotions but managing them consciously to maintain a balanced and respectful dynamic. When applying this rule, it is crucial to keep in mind that authenticity and transparency are essential pillars in any lasting relationship, with emotional moderation serving as a tool to preserve the individuality and self-esteem of both parties. This approach plays with the psychological concept of playing hard to get. When you don't show too much enthusiasm, you create a challenge for her, making her wonder why you're not as excited as she expected. This can make her more attracted to you. Explore the path of serenity and resilience. However, it's important to remember that it's not about being cold or distant, but creating charm and intrigue around your feelings, keeping her guessing and making each display of affection or emotion you feel perceived as a reward earned with effort. This careful balance keeps her attention alert and increases your psychological control over her. You're not an open book, but a chapter she is constantly trying to read. Digging deeper into the fifth rule, which focuses on avoiding jealousy regarding other men close to her, we can perceive how this strategy is intricate and subtle, yet grounded in profound psychological principles. The emotion of jealousy, despite being a common human reaction, is often interpreted as a sign of weakness and insecurity. Therefore, the importance of maintaining an image of confidence and security is central in this context. The strategy advocates not only the absence of jealousy, but also the ability to remain unruffled when other men are present. This implies demonstrating calm, security, and at the same time, confidence in the existing relationship. The attitude of avoiding showing jealousy explores the psychological dynamic of reactance, where the perception of restriction to freedom of choice often increases desire for the supposedly forbidden object. 
by adopting an indifferent stance, you offer the other person the freedom of choice, which paradoxically may increase the chances of being chosen. This approach positions you as the safest and most carefree option, standing out by not reacting predictably to jealousy. However, it is crucial to emphasize that this strategy does not suggest passivity or indifference. On the contrary, it is a demonstration that your value and self-esteem are not solely determined by the actions of the other person. Emotional mastery plays an essential role in this strategy, reinforcing the idea that you control situations rather than being controlled by them. This conscious control of emotions not only enhances psychological attractiveness, but also establishes a solid foundation for building healthy and lasting relationships. By standing out as someone self-assured and undisturbed in the face of potential competition, you create an emotional narrative that highlights your uniqueness and strengthens the emotional connection. Digging even deeper into the sixth rule, which focuses on prioritizing goals and ambitions over fleeting pleasures, we enter a territory rich in psychological strategies. This approach aims to clearly show where your priorities lie, conveying the powerful message that you are motivated, have a defined purpose, and are not easily influenced by short-term gratifications. The strategy of focusing on your goals and ambitions not only communicates your determination but also positions you as someone of high value and substance. This attitude is not just translated in words but in tangible actions. Allow her to see that your goals are a priority in your life. This doesn't mean neglecting the relationship but demonstrating that you are not dependent on her for your happiness or personal satisfaction. You are a self-sufficient individual with your own path. This dynamic creates a narrative in which you are perceived as someone seeking something greater, someone not just living in the moment but actively building a future. This psychologically attractive trait sparks interest, as we are naturally drawn to people who show ambition and determination in their lives. Furthermore, this strategic approach leverages the concept of scarcity, where the value of something increases when we perceive it as limited in availability. By showing that your goals take a prominent place in your life, you create a sense of scarcity regarding your attention and time, thus increasing your perceived value. However, it's crucial to balance this approach, ensuring that dedication to goals is not perceived as indifference to the relationship. The ability to harmonize personal ambitions with building a strong partnership is essential to create a healthy and balanced foundation in a lasting relationship. Exploring the idea of becoming less available due to the pursuit of your ambitions allows us to deepen our understanding of how this approach impacts the perception of your time and attention. By genuinely dedicating yourself to your growth and success, you not only become an option in her life but a valuable prize. This strategy is not just a game but an authentic commitment to personal development. When you are immersed in pursuing your ambitions, your time becomes a valuable commodity. This shift in availability is not just a superficial strategy, but a tangible expression of your investment in your own growth. By adopting this approach, you don't just become someone she thinks about but someone she wants to associate with, respect, and admire. It's crucial to highlight that these strategies should not be seen as manipulation but as a sincere pursuit of personal goals and achievements. Becoming a valuable prize resulting from a commitment to individual development is a narrative that resonates deeply and naturally, arouses admiration from others. If these strategies seem intriguing, it's important to use them with care and integrity. Seeking to understand subtle signs of interest as discussed in another context adds a valuable layer to relational dynamics. Ultimately, it's not just about making someone think about you, but building something meaningful and genuine. Mutual appreciation and respect form the foundation for healthy and lasting relationships. Number one, the radiant smile when she sees you. We can deepen our understanding of how nonverbal language can reveal feelings and intentions. A smile is a universal expression of joy, and observing the frequency of this gesture can provide valuable insights into her feelings. A constant smile when she meets you can be interpreted as a key indicator of interest. This gesture not only denotes friendship but can also suggest a romantic inclination. The consistent smile creates an atmosphere of openness, showing that she feels comfortable and friendly in your presence. Furthermore, it is relevant to observe the nature of the smile, as different types of smiles can convey different emotions. A genuine smile, involving the eyes and illuminating the entire face, usually indicates a deeper positive emotion. This attention to subtle details can further enrich the interpretation of her feelings. By understanding and interpreting smiles, you gain an advantage in reading nonverbal language, obtaining insights into her emotions. 
However, it's important to practice this observation with sensitivity, as the context and personality of each person can influence the interpretation of signals. By combining this awareness with a respectful and empathetic approach, you create a solid foundation for mutual understanding and a possible evolution of the relationship. Exploring the second indicator, which is body language, we can delve deeper into how gestures and physical movements can serve as revealing signs of interest. Running fingers through the hair during a conversation is a classic gesture that often denotes nervousness, but can also be interpreted as a sign of romantic interest. In addition to the gesture of running fingers through the hair, it is crucial to observe other hair plays such as twirling or winding strands between fingers. These behaviors may indicate a certain self-awareness in the presence of someone special. The body leaning towards you in the absence of physical barriers, such as crossing arms, are valuable indicators of alignment and interest. When a person leans towards you during a conversation, it may suggest a deeper emotional connection. In addition to body language, changes in the tone of voice are also key elements to be observed. Subtle variations, such as a softer or more cheerful tone, can indicate subconscious attraction. The voice often reflects the emotional state of the person, and these nuances can be revealing. By combining these physical and vocal cues, you build a more comprehensive understanding of the connection between you two. However, it is crucial to remember that interpreting these signals should be done with sensitivity, taking into account the individuality of each person and the context of the interaction. These indicators provide valuable insights, but direct and open communication is still essential to fully understand mutual feelings. Number three, delving into the intricacies of the third indicator, neck exposure, reveals a captivating dimension of body language that communicates unconscious signals of attraction. Neck exposure takes on various forms, including subtle tilting of the head, opting for clothing with open necklines, or simply letting the hair cascade down. These nuanced yet impactful gestures serve as significant indicators of romantic interest. The concept of neck exposure holds a profound significance in the realm of body language, acting as an unspoken invitation to draw closer. This nonverbal cue is interpreted as an expression of vulnerability and openness, signifying that the individual feels a sense of comfort and attraction in the presence of the other person. By keenly observing these delicate movements, one gains a deeper insight into the emotional landscape unraveling the intricate web of feelings. Beyond the overt gestures, the inclination to expose the neck is rooted in primal instincts. In the animal kingdom, bearing the neck is considered a vulnerable position, making this behavior in humans an instinctual display of trust and affection. The subtle alignment of body and mind in this context becomes a fascinating study of the unconscious, shedding light on the intricate dance of attraction. Moreover, the significance of neck exposure extends beyond the initial stages of attraction. It can serve as a barometer for the development of a connection, with an increasing openness indicating a growing level of trust and emotional intimacy. This nonverbal language, often overlooked in day-to-day -day interactions, becomes a powerful tool for deciphering the unspoken messages that underlie human connections. In conclusion, exploring the dynamics of neck exposure and body language provides a rich tapestry of insights into the complex world of human interaction. From the subtle tilts of the head to the choice of clothing, each element contributes to the intricate language of attraction. By unraveling these subtle cues, we can enhance our understanding of emotions, fostering a deeper connection with those around us. It is important to highlight that neck exposure is an unconscious gesture, meaning the person may not be aware of their own body language. This aspect makes this indicator even more valuable as it reveals genuine feelings in a nonverbal way. Paying attention to these subtle details of body language offers a unique perspective on her feelings. Although these signals can be subjective, they add layers of meaning to the interaction and can contribute to a deeper reading of the dynamics between you two. However, it is always important to interpret these gestures with sensitivity and consider the context of the situation. Direct communication and respect for individual boundaries remain crucial for establishing and developing healthy relationships. Number four. Exploring the fourth indicator, which is quick glances, we enter a subtle and intriguing terrain of body language, where eyes play a crucial role in nonverbal communication. Brief glances in your direction are a subtle expression of interest, especially when a woman tries to keep her feelings secret. These quick visual encounters represent a delicate attempt to connect without being overly obvious. This careful approach demonstrates a balance between showing interest and maintaining a sense of mystery. 
Eye contact can sometimes be challenging to interpret, but observing the quick movement of the eyes in your direction, especially when meeting your gaze, is a positive indicator that she is genuinely interested in you. These fleeting glances reveal a subtle game where she seeks to express interest while concealing her true feelings. Shy looks represent a unique form of body language, allowing her to communicate discreetly while suggesting a certain level of vulnerability. This dynamic adds an intriguing layer to the interaction, highlighting the complexity of feelings and desires. Remaining attentive to these subtle signs of hidden affection in body language can provide a deeper understanding of her feelings. It is crucial, however, to approach these interpretations with sensitivity, as the context of the situation and individual personality play a significant role in the accuracy of conclusions. Careful reading of glances, combined with open and respectful communication, contributes to mutual understanding and can be a valuable indicator in building a deeper connection. Exploring the fifth indicator, which is the lip-licking gesture, we enter a fascinating territory of body language where seemingly small actions can reveal deeper feelings. Experts suggest that when a woman frequently licks her lips around you, it can be a sign of hidden attraction. This gesture goes beyond a simple casual habit and can actually be an unconscious action she takes when interested in someone. Lip licking in the appropriate context can be interpreted as a sign of attraction. If you notice that she is nervous and performs this gesture more often around you, consider it a revealing clue to her feelings. This small but significant action is her way of showing interest discreetly without openly admitting it. Observing these subtle details adds an intriguing dimension to reading body language, as it reveals nonverbal communication that often escapes conscious perception. It is important to note that the interpretation of this gesture should be done with sensitivity, considering the context of the situation and individual personality. Additionally, it is crucial to recognize that these signs may vary from person to person, and interpretation should be done in conjunction with other elements of body language. By paying attention to these cues and combining this observation with a respectful and open approach, you can gain valuable insights into her feelings contributing to a deeper understanding of the dynamics between you. Exploring the sixth indicator, which is nervousness around you, we enter an area of body language that reveals anxiety and excitement associated with hidden romantic feelings. Detecting nervousness can offer valuable insights, as it often indicates that she is trying to hide her feelings. Nervousness can manifest in various ways, such as excessive sweating, stuttering, restlessness, or even trembling hands. Observing these signs, especially when she is speaking directly to you, may suggest hidden affection. Trembling hands and a shaky voice are potential indicators of deep feelings seeking expression. It is essential to recognize that nervousness may decrease over time as she becomes more comfortable in your presence. As the relationship develops and feelings become clearer, these initial signs of anxiety may give way to a more composed interaction. Observing nervousness as an indicator of affection is a way to understand her emotions, even if not expressed verbally. It is important, however, to interpret these signs with sensitivity, taking into account the individuality of each person and the specific context of the situation. By combining this observation with open and respectful communication, you can create an environment conducive to both expressing their feelings genuinely. Attentive reading of these signals, along with a careful approach, contributes to mutual understanding and strengthens the foundation for a possible deeper connection. Understanding these signals will better equip you to comprehend her feelings towards you. Remember that non-verbal communication plays a crucial role in human interactions, and paying attention to these subtle details can provide valuable insights. If you found these tips helpful, press the like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more information about the human mind and relationships. Interestingly, some women react by becoming more defensive or critical as a way to protect their emotions. If she is unusually sarcastic or critical in her conversations, it could be her way of hiding how she truly feels. These defensive actions are often a facade masking her genuine interest in you. Exploring the seventh indicator, which is the invitation through body language, delves into a crucial aspect of nonverbal communication that can reveal a woman's level of interest. Body language can be categorized into two main types, inviting and defensive, and observing these signals provides valuable insight into emotional dynamics. When a woman displays inviting body language, she is subtly signaling her interest. Gestures like leaning in during conversations, uncrossing her arms, or pointing her feet in your direction are clear indicators. These actions, such as having open arms or an inclined posture, 
suggests that she is engaged and receptive to what you are saying. The conscious use of attractive body language reflects a willingness to show that she likes you and is open to a closer connection. On the other hand, defensive body language like crossed arms or feet or pointing in another direction often indicates disinterest or the desire to keep a distance. These self-protective gestures are ways of establishing an emotional barrier and may indicate a lack of receptiveness to interactions. It is crucial to note that interpreting body language should be done with sensitivity, taking into account the context of the situation. Additionally, it is important to recognize that these signals can be subjective and vary from person to person. By paying attention to these indicators of invitation or distance, you gain a deeper insight into her willingness for interaction. This understanding can guide your approach and contribute to building a stronger and more genuine connection. Exploring the eighth indicator, which is remembering small details, delves into an important aspect highlighting a woman's level of interest. The ability to pay attention to small details not only reveals dedicated attention, but also suggests an interest that transcends casual interaction. Women who make an effort to remember specific details are often signaling a deeper level of attraction. Observing whether she recalls something you mentioned weeks ago or is attuned to your preferences, such as knowing your favorite music, preferred food, or the type of humor you appreciate, is essential. This level of detail goes beyond general conversation, demonstrating that she is committed to understanding and connecting with you on a more authentic level. These small yet significant memories represent a subtle way for her to express her interest and desire to know you more deeply. This conscious effort to remember personal details contributes to building a stronger and more genuine connection. It is crucial to note that this indicator not only highlights her attention, but also suggests emotional investment in the relationship. People tend to remember information they consider meaningful, and by recalling details about you, she is expressing a commitment to building a deeper connection. By recognizing and appreciating these small gestures of attention, you can strengthen the foundation of the relationship, promoting mutual understanding and building a more authentic and lasting connection. These memories are evidence of her dedication to making the interaction more meaningful and indicate a genuine interest in sharing experiences and emotions on a deeper level. Exploring the ninth indicator, which involves the choice of sitting close to you, we delve into a simple yet significant behavior that can provide insights into a woman's interest. The consistent act of choosing to sit near you, whether at work, school, or social events, may transcend mere coincidence. While this is not automatically a sign of romantic interest, the regular repetition of this behavior is revealing. The choice to sit close to someone is a subtle way of showing interest without being overly obvious. This discreet yet intentional action reflects her desire to be near you. By opting to be in your proximity, she facilitates engagement in conversations and integration into your immediate environment. This conscious choice of physical proximity suggests a level of comfort and familiarity that may indicate genuine interest. Sitting close to you not only facilitates interaction, but also creates an opportunity for a closer connection and the sharing of experiences. It's important to note the consistency of this behavior over time, as regular repetition strengthens the indication of interest. If she frequently chooses to be near you in various situations, it can be a clear indicator that she values your presence and wants to establish a deeper connection. By recognizing and appreciating this gesture, you demonstrate sensitivity to her actions, fostering an environment conducive to the development of a closer and more authentic relationship. This conscious choice of physical proximity highlights her willingness to create a meaningful connection with you. Exploring the tenth indicator, which involves indirect compliments, we enter the territory of subtle communication, where words are used to convey positive feelings without directly revealing romantic interest. When a woman expresses indirect compliments, she is praising specific aspects of your personality, skills, or appearance discreetly. For example, if she compliments your hard work or makes positive comments about your fashion, she is in fact expressing admiration and appreciation for these aspects of your life. These indirect compliments may initially go unnoticed but carry deep meaning. By focusing on aspects she values in you, she is showing interest without making her feelings too obvious. The subtlety of these indirect compliments indicates that she is choosing her words carefully, revealing a carefulness not to be too direct about her feelings. Paying attention to these implied compliments is crucial as they are her way of showing that she likes you without expressing it explicitly. These compliments not only highlight your qualities but also indicate special attention to specific details about you. 
By recognizing these expressions of appreciation, you can better understand the aspects she values and appreciates in your presence. By acknowledging and responding positively to these indirect compliments, you create an environment where communication is open and both can express feelings gradually and comfortably. These implied compliments represent a delicate channel for the woman to show that she is interested while maintaining a certain discretion about her feelings. Exploring the 11th indicator, which involves seeking attention, we enter into revealing behavior that directly points to a woman's interest. When she consistently tries to get your attention, whether in the workplace, school, or social events, it is a clear sign of genuine interest. This quest for your attention can manifest in various ways, such as being especially funny, sharing interesting stories, or actively participating in conversations on topics she knows you appreciate. Her deliberate effort to stand out in your presence demonstrates a desire for a deeper connection, revealing an intention to be closer to you. When discussing topics you enjoy or extending conversations, she is expressing a willingness to share common interests and create a space for more meaningful communication. These actions are nonverbal ways of conveying feelings without the need to communicate them explicitly. Pay attention to these efforts and her intentional involvement in trying to connect with you. This active pursuit of your attention indicates that she values the interaction and is willing to invest time and energy to build a closer and more meaningful relationship. By acknowledging these signs of seeking attention, you create an environment that encourages open communication and the development of an authentic connection. Responding positively to these efforts demonstrates reciprocity and interest, promoting the healthy growth of the relationship. These nonverbal actions are testimonials to her desire to establish a deeper and more meaningful connection with you. Exploring the twelfth indicator, which involves the extra effort in appearance, we enter into a fascinating aspect of behavior that can indicate significant romantic interest. While many women maintain a daily routine of personal care, the additional effort in appearance, especially around you, is a revealing sign. If she is dedicating extra time to look her best when she knows she will encounter you, this goes beyond the usual self-care routine. It may include the use of more elaborate makeup, choosing more stylish outfits, or even experimenting with hairstyles. This extra attention to appearance is a subtle way of grabbing your attention, indicating that the effort is specifically directed towards you. This behavior shows that she cares about the impression she makes on you and wants to be perceived in a positive way. The conscious effort to enhance appearance when around you reveals a desire to attract your attention in a more significant manner. Observing these changes in appearance, you can interpret them as clear signs of romantic interest. This extra attention to her image reflects the importance she places on your opinion and can be considered a non-verbal expression of attraction. Responding positively to this extra effort in appearance, appreciating the subtle changes, creates an environment where communication is open and both can express their feelings gradually and comfortably. This indicator highlights her care in making a positive impression on you, indicating an interest that goes beyond the superficial. Number 13. Initiative in Communication When we observe a woman taking the initiative to communicate, whether through text messages, phone calls, or even inviting you to events, this can be interpreted as a clear sign of interest in establishing a closer connection. This proactive attitude in communication suggests that she not only appreciates your company, but is also willing to invest time and effort in building a meaningful relationship. Moreover, it is important to note that initiative and communication can reveal a lot about her willingness to share moments and experiences, indicating a genuine desire to strengthen interpersonal bonds. This active behavior can also be indicative of confidence and openness, essential characteristics for the healthy development of any relationship. Recognizing the importance of initiative in communication, it is valid to emphasize that this is a fundamental aspect for the growth and consolidation of emotional ties. Valuing and reciprocating this initiative demonstrates mutual interest, thus establishing the foundations for a deeper and lasting connection. In summary, when a woman takes the lead in communication, it is a valuable opportunity to nurture and strengthen the bond between both, creating an environment conducive to a closer and more meaningful relationship. Number 14. Nonverbal Communication When analyzing the intricate nuances of nonverbal communication, we realize that this can be a powerful tool for expressing interest and attraction. When a woman consistently displays positive nonverbal communication signals, such as maintaining eye contact, leaning forward during conversation or lightly touching her hair, 
These subtle gestures can be interpreted as indicators of her interest in you. Observing and interpreting these signals can provide valuable insights into her feelings, even if she prefers to keep them secret. Deepening our understanding of nonverbal communication, it's worth highlighting that gestures like touch, body posture, and facial expression can be true channels of emotional communication. These elements can reveal genuine emotions beyond words, providing a fuller view of the person's intentions and feelings, sharing personal details. The act of sharing personal details is a significant step in building a deeper connection. When a woman shares her experiences, dreams, and concerns with you, she is demonstrating a level of trust and openness. This intimate sharing suggests that she feels comfortable in your presence and is willing to be vulnerable, which can be a clear indicator of her interest in establishing a deeper and meaningful connection. Furthermore, it is essential to emphasize the importance of recognizing and valuing these moments of emotional intimacy. By doing so, you demonstrate sensitivity and appreciation for the trust placed in you, strengthening emotional bonds between both. Now that you have a more comprehensive understanding of the signs a woman might show when she likes you but keeps it a secret, it's worth exploring how to approach relationships in a more balanced and satisfying way. In the intricate world of relationships, the pursuit of affection can often become exhausting and, at times, desperate. However, considering the timeless wisdom of Stoicism offers a fresh and insightful approach to maintaining a balanced perspective, cultivating healthy relationships, and finding happiness without the constant need to chase someone else's affection. Stoic philosophers provide us with the opportunity to reconsider our approach to love and the pursuit of happiness, particularly when it comes to the constant pursuit of women. Many men feel compelled to chase women due to societal pressure, evolutionary instincts, or personal insecurities. Society often glorifies the relentless hunter who tirelessly pursues the object of his affection. This glorification may lead men to feel the need to constantly prove themselves through exaggerated gestures of affection, relentless pursuit, and even manipulation. However, Stoicism teaches us the importance of taking a step back, pausing and reflecting on the consequences of our actions. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, left valuable lessons about desire and pursuit in his meditations. In the context of pursuing women, this could be interpreted as a reminder to accept the natural course of relationships, avoiding desperation and relentless pursuit. The Stoic approach to satisfaction differs from the constant pursuit of external goals such as winning over women. Instead, it focuses on cultivating inner strength and resilience, concentrating on what is within our control. Stoic philosophy with Marcus Aurelius as its standard bearer, offers valuable guidance for internal transformation. The focus is on moving away from attempting to change others or the environment, redirecting attention to personal transformation. Marcus Aurelius encourages us to stop arguing about how we should be in relationships and instead become the best version of ourselves. Rather than actively pursuing women, we are encouraged to focus our efforts on personal improvement, cultivating virtue and integrity in our character. Virtues such as wisdom, justice, courage, and self-discipline not only make us better individuals, but also more attractive to potential partners. Stoicism highlights the importance of self-control, managing desires and emotions. Having control over the mind and recognizing that we can control our reactions contribute to maintaining composure and emotional stability, essential aspects in any relationship. Respecting autonomy is another fundamental principle of Stoicism in relationships. Instead of disregarding the desires and autonomy of others while pursuing, we are taught to respect their choices, acknowledging that we are part of a larger cosmic order. Patience, a virtue highlighted by Marcus Aurelius, plays a crucial role in the pursuit of meaningful relationships. Avoiding impatience, especially in the pursuit of partners, is crucial since seeking instant gratification can lead to impulsive actions and hasty decisions. Cultivating patience allows alignment with the cosmic order acting more considerately and thoughtfully when interacting with potential partners. Furthermore, delving into the idea of patience in the pursuit of relationships, it is essential to understand that building deep connections takes time. Developing meaningful relationships requires emotional investment, mutual understanding, and respect for the time needed for these connections to naturally unfold. Thus, patience is not only a virtuous quality, but also a valuable tool for building lasting and satisfying relationships. Stoicism, the philosophy to which Marcus Aurelius was deeply connected, offers a unique perspective on rejection. According to this philosophy, 
it is crucial not to allow rejection to cause lasting damage to self-esteem. Instead of viewing rejection as an attack on our worth, we can see it as an opportunity for growth and personal overcoming. Learning to handle rejection constructively and resiliently is a valuable skill that contributes to personal and emotional development. It is relevant to highlight that in the context of Stoicism, rejection is not seen as a definitive setback, but as an experience that challenges us to cultivate resilience and adaptability. By incorporating this perspective, we can transform emotional adversities into opportunities for self-discovery and strengthening. Therefore, the integration of patience into the pursuit of relationships and the adoption of a stoic approach to rejection serve as foundational pillars for fostering not only healthy relationships, but also continuous personal growth. These principles go beyond mere relationship dynamics. They contribute significantly to a journey of self-discovery and emotional evolution, enriching not only our interpersonal interactions, but also our overall well-being. Delving deeper into the realm of Stoic philosophy, its wise and balanced approach becomes a guiding light in navigating the complexities of relationships. This ancient philosophy consistently emphasizes the importance of maintaining a rational perspective in the face of life's challenges, whether they be triumphs or difficulties in the realm of interpersonal connections. By applying Stoic principles to the pursuit of partners, a unique insight emerges, urging individuals not to tether their happiness solely to the outcome of their relationship endeavors. Instead, it encourages a profound appreciation for the small and meaningful aspects of life. Patience as a virtue becomes a powerful tool in establishing the groundwork for lasting and meaningful connections. In the process of building relationships, it allows individuals to develop a deep understanding of themselves and others. Patience encourages the exploration of shared values, interests, and personal growth, fostering a connection that transcends the superficial. Moreover, adopting a stoic approach to rejection transforms setbacks into opportunities for personal development. Stoicism teaches that the only aspect of life within our control is our response to events, not the events themselves. Applying this principle to romantic pursuits means acknowledging that rejection is a natural part of the process and should not be viewed as a reflection of one's worth. Instead, it becomes a chance to learn, adapt, and grow. By intertwining patience and stoicism, individuals create a robust framework for navigating the complexities of relationships. This integrated approach not only enables a more profound connection with others, but also cultivates resilience, emotional intelligence, and a genuine sense of self-worth. The journey toward meaningful relationships becomes a transformative experience, aligning with the overarching goal of personal growth and fulfillment. In conclusion, the fusion of patience and stoicism in the pursuit of relationships goes beyond creating a successful romantic connection. It becomes a holistic approach to life, fostering continuous personal growth, resilience, and a profound understanding of oneself and others. Through these principles, individuals embark on a journey of self-discovery and emotional evolution, ultimately contributing to a more fulfilling and enriched life. As we deepen this reflection, it is essential to understand that happiness should not be externalized and conditioned by success or failure in romantic relationships. Instead of pursuing women as an exclusive means to achieve personal satisfaction, Stoicism invites us to seek joy within ourselves. Cultivating internal contentment and finding satisfaction in everyday experiences are fundamental aspects of a fulfilling and balanced life. Furthermore, as we explore Stoic philosophy in relation to relationships, the emphasis is on the value of building authentic and deep bonds. Instead of viewing the pursuit of partners as a standalone goal, Stoicism suggests that true value lies in constructing genuine relationships based on authenticity, mutual respect, and understanding. These solid foundations are more meaningful than the mere pursuit of relationships without a truly significant purpose. By embracing this approach, we not only nurture the development of healthier relationships, but also fortify our emotional autonomy. The tenets of Stoic philosophy acting as a guiding beacon underscore the notion that happiness should not be contingent solely on external circumstances. This empowering philosophy encourages us to live life more fully and consciously, finding joy not only in our interpersonal connections but also in the richness of everyday experiences. Stoicism, with its timeless wisdom, serves as a profound reminder that true contentment arises from our internal state rather than external factors. By internalizing this perspective, Individuals are equipped to navigate the complexities of relationships with a grounded and resilient mindset. 
The philosophy teaches us to derive fulfillment from the quality of our connections, the depth of our understanding, and the growth that accompanies shared experiences. In the pursuit of relationships, the application of Stoic principles becomes a transformative journey. It prompts a shift in our approach to love, urging us to detach our happiness from external outcomes. Instead, we are encouraged to focus on the intrinsic value of the connections we forge and the personal growth that ensues. This shift in mindset not only enhances the quality of our relationships, but also contributes to our overall well-being. Moreover, adopting a stoic mindset enables us to navigate the inevitable challenges that relationships present. By understanding that we cannot control external events, we gain the ability to respond to difficulties with equanimity and resilience. This approach fosters a deeper sense of self-awareness and emotional intelligence, further solidifying our capacity for meaningful connections. As we apply the principles of Stoicism to our pursuit of relationships, we embark on a dual journey of self-discovery and enriched interpersonal connections. The philosophy becomes a compass, guiding us toward a more profound and meaningful perspective on happiness and purpose in life. Our understanding of fulfillment expands beyond external validations, encompassing the richness of shared moments, the depth of understanding, and the growth that arises from embracing the complexities of human connections. In essence, the adoption of Stoic principles in the realm of relationships not only transforms our approach to love, but also elevates our personal journey. It consolidates a deeper and more meaningful perspective on happiness and purpose, fostering a life imbued with resilience, authenticity, and a profound appreciation for the interconnected tapestry of human experience. Marco Aurelius imparts to us a profound reflection that resonates through the corridors of time. Life needs very little to be happy and everything is within us in our way of thinking. This wisdom, when applied to the intricate tapestry of relationships, unveils the transformative power of cultivating a mindset steeped in gratitude and acceptance. It beckons us to liberate ourselves from the shackles of external attachments, suggesting that genuine satisfaction arises from within. In the realm of relationships, this stoic philosophy becomes a beacon of insight, guiding us towards a deeper understanding of true contentment. It underscores the importance of releasing the grip on external factors that we often believe hold the key to happiness. Instead, the emphasis is placed on the internal landscape of our thoughts and attitudes, illuminating the path to a more fulfilling connection with ourselves and others. A fundamental lesson gleaned from Stoicism is the liberation from external attachments, a principle that proves particularly relevant in the pursuit of meaningful connections. Marco Aurelius with timeless wisdom accentuates that the best response to perceived injury is to be unlike the one who caused it. This nuanced guidance prompts a recalibration of our responses to rejection or disappointment in the realm of relationships. In the pursuit of romantic interests, adopting a stoic approach involves relinquishing the impulse for revenge or retribution. It encourages us to rise above the immediate sting of rejection and cultivate a mindset of internal strength. By disentangling our sense of self-worth from external validations, we pave the way for a more resilient and authentic approach to connecting with others. Furthermore, the Stoic perspective teaches us that freedom from external attachments is not synonymous with indifference. Instead, it calls for a profound acceptance of the inherent uncertainties in relationships and an acknowledgement that external outcomes are beyond our control. This shift in mindset empowers us to focus on the aspects we can control our reactions, attitudes, and personal growth. In essence, Marco Aurelius's wisdom serves as a timeless guidepost for navigating the complexities of relationships. By internalizing the notion that life's happiness resides within our way of thinking, we embark on a journey of self-discovery and emotional resilience. The Stoic approach encourages us to transcend the fleeting disappointments of external circumstances and find enduring contentment in the richness of our internal landscape. Self-sufficiency Stoic love presents a distinctive perspective on love and relationships, urging us to foster virtuous, selfless, and enduring connections. As Marco Aurelius wisely stated, the best revenge is to be unlike the one who caused the injury. In the realm of love, this advice encourages us to transcend the common games and dramas associated with romantic encounters. Instead of succumbing to the temptation of revenge or manipulation, Stoic love advocates for a practice grounded in respect, understanding, and altruism. The concept of self-sufficiency in Stoic love revolves around the idea that true fulfillment in relationships comes from within, 
It prompts individuals to cultivate a sense of completeness and contentment independently of external circumstances. By focusing on personal growth and inner well-being, one becomes better equipped to contribute positively to relationships, fostering an environment of mutual respect and shared growth. Now that we have delved into the stoic principles that can guide us in moving away from the pursuit of women and adopting a more satisfying approach to relationships, let's explore practical steps to implement these teachings in our lives. 1. Self-reflection. The first step to understanding our motivations, desires, and weaknesses. Taking time to reflect on our relationships, analyzing patterns of success or failure, and evaluating our expectations helps us understand how they affect outcomes. Understanding our mental processes and emotions empowers us to make more rational decisions in the future. 2. Personal growth. Following Marco Aurelius's advice, we should stop wasting time discussing what it means to be a good person and focus our attention on personal development. The goal is not to impress others, but to become the best version of ourselves. This involves dedicating time to education, hobbies, and personal growth that fulfill us and build our character. 3. Develop patience. Impatience often leads us to pursue women hastily, leading to impulsive decisions. Practicing patience in all aspects of life by recognizing that the best things come to those who wait. Patience fosters reflection and more rational decisions, especially in the realm of relationships. 4. Cultivate gratitude. In the pursuit of women, it is crucial to focus on what is lacking rather than appreciating what we already have. Changing your perspective by practicing gratitude, as emphasized by Marco Aurelius, is crucial. Very little is needed to make a happy life, and it is all within you in your way of thinking. Take a moment each day to reflect on the things you are grateful for. This practice can help you find satisfaction within yourself and reduce the need for external validation. 5. Respect Autonomy In your interactions with women, it is crucial to always respect their choices and autonomy. Each person has their own desires and paths in life. Instead of trying to change someone's mind or make them fit your desires, respect their individuality. If someone is not interested, move on with grace and without resentment. 6. Reconsider Rejection as mentioned earlier, rejection is a part of life and does not define your worth. In the face of rejection, practice the stoic mindset of reframing it as an opportunity for growth. Use it as a chance to strengthen your resilience and self-control. Rejection does not reflect your character or value as a person. It's simply a circumstance that can help you learn and improve. 7. Meaningful Connections Shift your focus from pursuing women to building deeper relationships. Approach each interaction with authenticity and respect. Be genuine and show interest in the person you are connecting with. Building a solid foundation based on respect and understanding is more valuable than pursuing women without a meaningful purpose. Mutual connections can lead to more satisfying and lasting results in your relationships. 8. Let go of the need for external validation. This is a fundamental lesson from Stoicism. Learn the importance of finding validation within yourself instead of seeking it from external sources. Free yourself from the need for constant approval or attention, and cultivate self-sufficiency and inner strength so that you don't have to seek validation through relationships or external sources. 9. Practice emotional control. The ability to manage and control our emotions and reactions plays a crucial role in human interactions and personal relationships. Stoicism, as a life philosophy, offers a valuable perspective on the importance of maintaining composure and rationality, even in challenging situations. Emotional control is not about suppressing or denying legitimate emotions, but cultivating a balanced and thoughtful awareness in the face of them. Developing this skill not only strengthens our emotional resilience, but also significantly contributes to cultivating healthy relationships. In the midst of challenges and conflicts, the ability to stay calm and act thoughtfully creates an environment conducive to peaceful conflict resolution and a deeper understanding. Moreover, emotional control not only positively impacts relationships with others, but also has beneficial effects on our own well-being. By adopting a stoic approach to emotions, we can learn to transform adversities into opportunities for personal growth, strengthening our authenticity and resilience. It is important to note that emotional control does not imply becoming indifferent or insensitive, but rather cultivating a more balanced and compassionate response to emotions, both ours and others. By integrating these principles, we not only enhance our emotional intelligence, but also contribute to building deeper and more enriching relationships. Therefore, by recognizing the importance of emotional control, 
we embrace not only a more mature approach to relationships, but also elevate our quality of life and contribute to a more harmonious and constructive interpersonal environment. 10. Pursue virtuous love. Embrace the Stoic idea of love based on wisdom, justice, courage, and self-discipline. This approach seeks to develop a love grounded in respect, selflessness, and moral principles. Instead of pursuing fleeting pleasures, the Stoic perspective on long-term relationships emphasizes how these teachings can steer you away from impulsive pursuits and lead you to adopt a more balanced approach to encounters. Considering how these teachings can shape long-term relationships is essential, as all successful long-term relationships require a commitment to the same Stoic principles we have discussed so far. 11. Embrace virtue and Stoicism. Understand that virtue is fundamental to living a good life. Applying this to long-term relationships involves ensuring that your actions and decisions are guided by wisdom, justice, courage, and self-discipline. The goal is to be a virtuous partner and seek a similar virtuous character in your partner. 12. Maintain self-control. Self-control is essential not only during the pursuit of women, but also throughout a long-term relationship. Your ability to handle emotions, especially during conflicts and challenges, is vital. Stoicism teaches to take a step back. Assess the situation rationally and respond with self-control instead of impulsivity. I look forward to hearing your success stories, so subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment below. Share your journey, your victories, and even your struggles. If words fail you, simply write Stoic Legacy to show that you have overcome. Our session, your interaction, fuels this community, guiding us toward wisdom, understanding, and above all, the art of turning every challenge into an opportunity.